I'm sorry that um, the sunlight is playing across my face here. I'm going to do a quick Rumi Oracle read for all signs. <clears throat> I love this Oracle and it, I think it's really beautiful and poetic. And so I wanted to go ahead and draw a card. It's going to be a very quick read and the sun is right across my face and I cannot fix it. Um, so it's going to be very quick. I just want to pull a few cards from this deck and see where the twin soul energy is. All right. And I only have 15 minutes left to record on my phone, so we will see how much we can get out in that short amount of time. One card, please. We have a new gown. And this is amazing. It, this came out in my other Twin Soul reading, so it's definitely the reoccurring energy and cosmic heart. So let's go ahead and read those. If you watch my other Twin Soul reading, you will definitely hear all of this again. Obviously, it's important because Spirit is bringing it out again. So let's go ahead and dive right into that again. It's number 18, A New Gown. And we also have eight, the cosmic heart. So, weary and consumed by longing, I was caressed by my beloved last night. My wounded soul was set free when I tasted the sweetness of love. My spirit was lifted at once. I surrendered my life while overflowing with joy and my vision was filled with light. Love said, don't feel so hopeless, my weary and gloomy one, for my generosity is beyond forgetting those devoted to me. See how boundless divine justice can be. Behold my immeasurable kindness. Love embraced my spirits and all of my doubts vanished at once. A new and glorious robe of honor was placed on my shoulders. Love offered me the power of new vision and the transforming touch of divine generosity and placed the chalice of eternal wine in my hand. I have the perfect gift for you. It is a gown of new colors, of colors perfectly suited to you and to no other. The colors of this gown will make your eyes sparkle and gleam as though they were more beautiful than the most precious of gems. The color of this new gown will make your skin seem luminous as if lit from within. I <laughs> kind of like this. <laughs> For of course, it is beautiful angel. Your complexion is radiant with the lights of life. Your hair will shine with luster and your entire being will be complimented by this gown as it enhances your beauty in all ways. So hold on no longer to that shabby tattered cloak so unworthy of you. Cast it off. Let me grace your shoulders now with this royal robe instead that you may shine beautifully as befits a royal child of divine parentage. So a spirit is reminding us all of our inner beauty and our outer beauty and of how much our beloved thinks that we are beautiful no matter what. No matter what we're wearing, no matter what we're doing, no matter how we're feeling, the beloved sees us as we see, um, as the divine sees us, as a beautiful, amazing, angelic creature draped in gowns of sensual love. All right, and that's just a little reminder of how your twin soul sees you. And I think that that's absolutely beautiful. Cosmic Hearts. Just had it and it just like closed on me. Why is it being so difficult? <laughs> okay, I was dead. I became alive. I was tears and I became laughter. The power of love arrives and made me everlasting power. I have seen everything. I have no fear. I have the heart of a lion. I shine like Venus. I hear it and weep. In sublime reverence, I bow to this living, beating, loving heart of the universe. It echoes throughout all of creation, 
Once, some time ago, I was deaf. I had not heard one true sound, much noise, but no truth. So I believed in many things not worth believing in. Then in a moment of my crisis that cracked my heart open, I was given a gift. Though I felt fear and confusion, a gift came to me more powerful than those temporary ailments. That gift was the ability to hear the sound hidden beneath all of life. I heard it, that sacred sound of the beating hearts of universal love. Now I know that belief in unworthy things like fear and doubt is lunacy. Even my loneliness became unconvincing to me. We are animated by this living heartbeat, part of life that is sustained by it. You and I, the planets, the birds, and the fishes emerge from the great source because of this beating heart of the universe. It pumps life through our veins. What proof of this is needed? You live. That is the proof. I hear it everywhere now. It has become so loud, louder than any word of fear. It resonates through my soul and eclipses any tremor of anxiety. Wow, listen to this. It says, there is a time on the journey of love. And it's funny because I have been calling most of these readings twin soul journey. And it says, there. so this resonates. There is a time in the journey of love when the beloved, that would be you and me, sweet soul, is prepared to engage more completely with the heart of the divine lover. Wow, that is so freaking beautiful. That was the little short mini read for you twin souls on this beautiful journey. I hope this uplifts you, uplifts you and gives you the courage to continue on the journey. You are so loved by your beloved and also by the divine and also by me. <laughs> I love you so much.